Welcome back to House Flipper 2, where we buy some houses and flip them like a horrible, evil villain. But it is very relaxing and fun, so we're going to keep doing it. Last episode was Charming Hideaway, which we sold for... I can't even remember how much, but we have nearly three million in the bank. So we're going to move on to the next one, which looks like Old Bairn. Who would live in a bairn? I guess it could be nice. This barn-like building is a relic of the timber industry once prospering in this forest. Not in use for years, it finally has a chance to find new owners, who will renovate and adapt it for a new purpose, such as becoming someone's new fashionable loft. I thought a loft was specifically like an attic room. It looks like it could become an extremely hipstery house, which is what we will probably turn it into. Like a sort of trendy, hipster, fake, rustic kind of thing. Right, it looks like the entire forest has fallen on us. <laughs> Good stuff. As usual, I'm going to start with cleaning up the outside. It'll probably, at this point, well, in a few seconds now, probably speed up and do a little sort of montage you know it'll fade in and out and it'll just be me in like 250 times speed just wandering around you'll get to enjoy the noises I think that's everything. I guess I'll I'll do what I usually do, which is just sort of sort out the entire outside bit first, because I kind of hate doing the outside. At least, you know, it's less enjoyable than doing the inside. It looks uh, structurally sound, I guess. Um, I don't know what to do for the outside. I might just keep it the same color. Like if I can copy the style of any of these are like nice. Damaged, painted wood, dirty. I would rather not go with that, I think, if I had a choice. I would like... Hmm. Something, you know, something that matches this colour. Like, is there anything that isn't damaged and ruined by... I don't know what it would be ruined by. Bigfoots? Maybe these? Yeah, that looks... that looks kind of nice. It's brightened up a little bit. Again, we're going for rustic, but rustic that would appeal to an inner city prick like me. <laughs> right? Rustic, but like fake rustic. Like we want to get rid of some of this concrete or at least make it like nicer concrete. I'm not even sure what these are. Can I sell these? I can. I think these are literally just planks of wood. I'm not sure what's going on with these. Can I... Huh. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Looking at this, I don't know what I want to do with these. Can I change the style of these a bit? And make them, like, nice? Not really. Hmm. Let me see if I can find pieces of wood. <laughs> what I could do... Is make a balcony. Like, get rid of this window and make a balcony out there. That would be, you know, changing the house up a bit, but I think that might be nice. I think that would be a good idea. I'm going to keep these as they are for now. Just so we can see where they, where the floor should be. Thank you. 
Mm, there is already a balcony at the back. Do we want two balconies? Or is that a bit too extravagant? I'm not really sure. Maybe we make this... I don't know, something for plants? Like, maybe it can be like a... Like a little covered area? For like, uh, some plants or some... Some seating? That could be nice. I don't know. I'll, I'll figure out what to do with this. I'm not 100% sure yet. Is this even even? There's three there. There's two there. Oh, that's gonna... That's gonna piss me off more than you'd expect. <laughs> Actually, maybe we just get rid of this entirely. If that's the case. Oh, that's really annoying. Might put something here. We'll see. Because it looks a little bit bare right now. I'll put something there. We'll see. We'll see later. Oh, there's a little outhouse for, like, private pissing. Amazing. That'll be cool. I think I'm keeping the fireplace, or the chimney, whatever they're called. I'm keeping the chimney as it is, because I like it. And I'm keeping the foundations as they are, because I like them. We want to fix up this, because it looks like a disaster. That's a that's the last... One of the last things I think we need to take care of out here. Also need to, well, obviously we need to finish off the last bit here, and we also need to uh, finish these things, these corners. I'll probably do them in the wall, not here, just to keep it all a bit neat and, you know, normal looking. <laughs> or maybe I'll do the bottom bit the same color as here, so it's continuing on. We'll see. It'll probably look fine either way.
I think this looks a bit weird. Like, it, it's obviously fine. Like, I, this could probably hold itself, but I feel like it needs some braces or something, right? Like, it looks a bit odd. I'm not really sure what I can do about that. Maybe I can... I don't know. Hang on. Let me see if I can find anything. <laughs> Any columns or... There's wooden planks. There's beams. There we go. A beam might be good. Like a square beam. Or even like a rough hewn beam. Yeah, that... That looks like it might hold itself better, right? Maybe? Maybe I'm... Uh, this is nonsense? I think that looks a little bit neater, as in, like, slightly more realistic. I'll probably make this wood as well. I think I, I would like that. I know I'm just talking about the game, by the way. I haven't, like, chatted or anything, but, you know, I'm in that kind of mood. I just kind of want to play the game. I haven't played this in a little while. I say a little while. It's been probably a week, maybe, a bit more. I just haven't had the time, really. Especially because, and this is a rod from my own back, I'm aware of this. Especially because I've decided I'm going to be, you know, editing this for YouTube. It's, it makes me slightly guilty, I guess. Well, it's not really the right word, but it's slightly guilty for playing it off camera. Which is silly, I know. That's a silly thing to, I can play this whenever I like, however I like. Fuck all of you. <laughs> But it does feel a bit like, oh, I, sh I should, you know, wait until, wait until I'm ready to record and feel like talking and stuff like that. The problem is, is that I rarely actually feel like talking. Uh, I use up, I would say, 90% of my desire for speech on my streams. If you don't know, I stream on Twitch. You probably do. My uh, YouTube audience, I think, is basically just my Twitch audience again, right? But um, I use up most of my desire to speak. So there's not a lot left for YouTube. It's why there's not as much YouTube content as there is Twitch content. Also, here's a secret. Uh, Twitch content is a lot easier. <laughs> it is so much easier to stream than it is to record for YouTube because uh, you have to actually come up with shit to say <laughs> if you're on YouTube. <laughs> Whereas on Twitch, you can kind of just bounce off chat and it's very lovely and easy. It is harder. I would say, I don't know. Here's how I'd put it, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to gather my thoughts on this. When you're first starting out, YouTube is easier. But you can just play the game and react to the game. It's probably fine. You know, it's a bit easier. It doesn't have to be, like, always on like you do on Twitch. You can edit around any silences and stuff like that. Twitch is harder at the start because you are live and you actually have to uh, make up shit to talk about constantly. Otherwise, there's a lot of dead air. Most of Twitch, for me at least, is chat interaction. And that's how I like it. I like chat interaction. Especially if you have an active chat. It's lovely. Uh, but without chat interaction, it can get a little bit, you know, silent and creepy. <laughs> I think is the best way to put it. So that's something to keep in mind if you decide to do Twitch. Oh, there's no roof on this, by the way. I've just noticed. Why is there no roof? Was it literally just some random fucking... <laughs> Was it literally just some planks of wood that were covering this? I want the outhouse. I'm keeping the outhouse. Because I was thinking about this the other day. I was in Cork City and needed to piss. And there was nowhere around that didn't cost money or that you had to go into a, a restaurant or something to do it. It was really annoying. It really drove home the lack of public toilets in this country. Because... <laughs> There was never really any, but as the years have gone by, there's less and less, and also you have to pay for them. I think this is very normal, depending on your country. He's going to elicit, yeah, obviously you have to pay for them, reactions, and... Oh, you have to pay to pee? <laughs> reactions, depending on where you live. For me, I am very much in the, why would I have to pay to do this? It, I, I feel, 
Like, it basically encourages people to just piss in the street. <laughs> I don't like the fact that so many places require, like, a deposit in order to use the bathroom here. That's why so many of them are broken. Especially because I don't carry cash. In fact, I don't know anybody who carries cash anymore. Cash seems to be... And this is, you know, thoughts vary on whether this is a good or a bad thing. Cash seems to be not really a thing that exists in the modern world anymore, right? Like, who carries cash? Like, I I don't. Like I just said, I don't carry any cash. Can I demolish this, or can I just sell it and make, like, a, a proper roof on this thing? I think I would like to just make a proper roof, because this is a bit of a disaster. <laughs> there we go. Let's just build a proper roof. But anyway... I was like, this is annoying. I would like to go to the bathroom. And I was thinking, I wonder why there isn't just outhouses everywhere. <laughs> There's probably genuinely good reasons. You don't see outhouses anymore. It's not convenient. But um, I think I would prefer it. Also, look. What I'm about to say might be a, t a tiny, tiny bit deranged. People might go, what the hell are you talking about? I don't like using the bathroom if there is any chance that another person may perceive me. It's why going to the bathroom in America was such a nightmare. I don't like being perceived. <laughs> really, ever. But bathroom especially. If you don't know what I mean by America, they have, like, their public bathrooms. Or, like, you know, if you go to a restaurant and you go to the bathroom in there, they're all, uh, like, open. Not like open, open, but there's like big gaps in the doors. So you can, if you're a pervert, you can just look in at people. And it was so weird to me. I'd never seen anything like that. But it's it's apparently the norm there. It made me feel much better about our situation. <laughs> but, I mean, that's true of a lot of America. What was I talking about? I was talking about YouTube and then I went on about bathrooms. I, I would say Twitch is easier to keep a flow going because if I was playing this on Twitch... It'd pr probably be quite boring, <laughs> but, which is why I'm not playing it on Twitch. But if I was playing it on Twitch, 80% of the dialogue or speech coming out of me would be responding to chat messages and, you know, answering people in chat if they have questions or jokes or anything, or riffing off of it, you know. And that's fine. Um... But with this, there's a lot of editing involved. Because I mean, it's not a lot. I do very bare bones editing here. But there's some editing involved. Where's the, um, where's the, like, ramps? I want to do, like, maybe just a step. Maybe a single step would be okay. Maybe, like, uh, these or this. Like, could I make, like, a single step going in here? Because it seems a little bit... Can I just do, do like, a single single step like that there we go that's much nicer look at that Ooh, that's lovely i've, I've co genuinely completely forgotten what i was saying <laughs> it's why twitch suits me i think is because of this where i will just lose my train of thought immediately if not prompted maybe i'll give it a little ledge here i don't know I'm, i don't know why i'm decorating this outhouse so much it's just i've never actually seen an outhouse in real life Maybe I'll give it a little rain shelf. <laughs> it's not really a term for anything, but like, you know what I mean. I'll give it a little, uh, a little thing to keep the rain off people when they're when they're pissing. I guess I wouldn't want it out. Oh, that's what I was talking about. I've remembered everyone. I don't like using the bathroom if anybody can perceive me. Like if anybody else is in the house, even I feel weird about using the bathroom. I don't really like it. I, I don't know what caused this in my brain, but I have some sort of aversion to it. And so I think if I did have an outhouse, I would probably use it quite frequently. I'd go, oh, I'm just going out for a walk in the garden and then secretly use the bathroom like a horrible little raccoon. Like, I, I don't like people being aware that I use the bathroom. It's like, again... As I'm saying this, the more I'm realizing that I might have something wrong with me. <laughs> but I don't... Uh, I, I wish I was like uh, Kim Jong-un. <laughs> That's something that very rarely gets said. But I, I wish I was like Kim Jong-un, where he claims that he doesn't have to use the bathroom. 
obviously that's not true, okay? We know this. But he says, I think he says this. This might have been a joke, but I think he says that he absorbs nutrients to the point where he doesn't need to excrete. I think they all did. The uh, the Kim family. You know, that, that reign of dictators. I think I'm done with the outside, by the way. I think the outside is now looking fresh and cool and nice. We've got a, a thing. We've got an outhouse. We've got doors. I, I'm, actually, we're going to need to put in some fucking doors, aren't we? What am I doing? <laughs> Why have I just left this open? We will need some doors at some point. I'll put them in later. Let's start on the inside. Uh, I think I'm going to be selling basically everything in here. I think down here we'll have a kitchen. Oh god, how am I even going to make a kitchen in here? Okay, we're going to have a kitchen, okay? We're going to do a kitchen. We're going to do a living room area. It's going to be open plan. Maybe with like a little I don't know, breakfast table bar thing over here. Getting rid of some of these beams. Up here, obviously, will be the bedroom. Uh, god. <laughs> Maybe I'll expand this over here as well. Like, expand this out. Like, I can get rid of these. These fencing. I can, I can put up some nicer fencing. First of all, though, we're going to go around and sell every piece of nonsense equipment that is not needed. My god, there's a lot of stuff. There's just ivy hanging inside. This place is... I don't know if I would live here, to be honest. <laughs> Seems like it might be a bit soft. <laughs> Alright, we need bins. We need some bins to take care of this. I think what I might do is have a central doorway here, like a big double door, and then some big windows. Some big, like, modernist windows that just, like, look out. I think that would be quite nice. And then, like, a little strip balcony thing with plants on it that you, I guess, would have to water from these windows up here. It'll probably be fine. All light switches go away. These lights are horrible industrial things. Although they, we might want hanging lights, actually. I, I might leave these lights up there because I think that looks nice. I like these lights. Um, We'll see. <laughs> we'll see how it looks. I don't know. Maybe I'll just replicate these over here. I think these are a bit too long, especially if I'm covering over this thing, which I might right now. Eh, maybe? I don't know. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah. Leia, let's do that. Let's, um... Hmm. Yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah. That's quite nice, isn't it? Maybe, <laughs> maybe it's nice, I'm not sure. Let me duplicate this over here as well, just to make it match up a bit. Oh, look at that. Now I've got like a proper little area. Right, we will need to refloor everything in here because it's a disaster, obviously. There's a chimney, but there's no fireplace. So we might want to put in a fireplace, I guess. It's right here, I think. So we can... Oh, it's such an awkward place for a fireplace. It's a disaster. Maybe the fireplace is just for looks. Because I don't know if I want to build one. I don't know when this is going to come out, but I am recording this just after my birthday and whenever I talk about my birthday people always go oh that's very sad <laughs> because I'm one of those weirdos and it is a weird thing I recognize this I used to be like oh it's just better but I recognize it is weird 
one of those people who doesn't celebrate their birthdays. I never have, really. I don't really like doing birthday stuff. I don't like having a birthday. I don't do anything for it. And so my birthday is always very, very boring. And a lot of the time, people don't remember it, including me. It's not a joke, what I'm about to say. I forgot that my birthday was this year, or forgot when my birthday was this year, until I got an email the morning before. Some, I don't even know what it was, some subscription service was like, it's your birthday, here's a discount. I was like, it is? <laughs> oh yeah, that's tomorrow. So it's not like I had anything planned, obviously. <laughs> But I don't know, I don't, I guess I don't really get the concept of doing birthday celebrations. I don't really get what they're meant to accomplish. That's such a robot way of talking. <laughs> it's just such an arbitrary thing. Also, I have some hang-ups where I really don't like receiving presents. And so I think I associate birthdays with receiving presents obviously because that's a normal thing that people do for each other they like to give each other gifts um i don't like to receive gifts i really don't and so uh it, it has a negative connotation for me i guess i'm gonna change these oh, i want i don't know what i'm doing in this room i guess we'll we'll make the walls something i don't know <laughs> we should choose the floor that's what we should do we should choose the floor first and then we can decide from there what the walls are going to be i think i uh, you know like an american ash or a stained elm something neutral something neutral and nice like something like this that color just a default color does that look okay Pfft, i don't know maybe that's okay it is getting dark, so maybe I should string up some lights first. I always make this mistake when I play this game. I'm always like, ah, I'll, I'll strip out all the lights and then do them at the end, forgetting that there is a day-night cycle in this game. So maybe I should do that now. Does this look, yeah, I think this looks fine. Uh, maybe I want it a little bit brighter. Maybe like American Ash. And we go this cut pattern, three. Yeah, that looks a bit nicer, I think. Okay, I'll go with that. It's a bit shinier. Don't know if I like that. That's fine. That That's good. I like that. That's okay. Right, let's... I guess we'll do the roofs as well. The roofs, the ceilings in this as well. So that they're not just bare concrete. Looks rancid. <laughs> Absolutely horrible. I've noticed, by the way, just after saying that, I've noticed that I've said I'm using that word a lot now. And I don't know why. I don't know where I heard it. But it's become, like, just a thing I say. Like, describing things as rancid. And I, I'm trying to stop, because I don't really like it. <laughs> I find it annoying. <laughs> it's, a, it's a piece of sort of slang that I've just sort of let infect my brain. It's like a vocal tick almost, like saying like a lot or um, which I think is fine. I, I for a while tried to stop myself doing that. I was like, oh, people hate when you say like or um in the middle of sentences. And people do, but honestly, fuck them. <laughs> like, who cares? I think it's fine. Um, I mean, I just did it there. The problem is even saying that and even saying I think it's fine makes you hyper aware of how much you do it. It's like when people say, oh, you're now aware of your own breathing, or you're aware of your tongue in your mouth, or, you know, things like that just to fuck with you. Like, everybody in the audience right now is probably very aware, if they're talking over the next few minutes, how much they say like or um between words. I, my, my one that I did stop saying was but um. I would say, but, um, a lot, and it really annoyed me. And depressingly, the reason it annoyed me was because they made fun of it on an episode of How I Met Your Mother. One of the worst shows, not even going to give it a caveat, like one of the worst sitcoms or one of the worst comedies or anything. Just one of the worst shows. It's, it's unforgivably bad. I have always despised How I Met Your Mother. I couldn't quite put into words when I was a kid why I hated How I Met Your Mother, but I knew I hated it. 
It was like even worse than Friends. It's bizarre to think that a show could age worse than Friends, but it has managed it. Friends, everybody knows, is extremely problematic. <laughs> right? Every it's like Scrubs, where every other joke in Friends is some sort of gay joke or racist joke or something. Right? And considering considering that that show was written by a gay guy and a Jewish woman. It is bafflingly anti-Semitic and homophobic. <laughs> I, I don't know how they managed it. Honestly, it's an achievement. You know, you expect that going in. You're like, okay, this is Friends. This is what it is. You can sort of, if you have some sort of ability to look past it, you can probably still enjoy it. I don't think I could. <laughs> I think Friends is very bad. But, you know, I could see how people would, would still watch Friends. How I Met Your Mother, though, is is not like that. How I Met Your Mother does not have the excuse of being from the 90s, for one thing, and it is even more egregious. Like, at least in Friends, one of the main characters wasn't a rapist. <laughs> and you may be going, hey, no, where did that come from? Try watching How I Met Your Mother again with adult eyes, with fresh, modern eyes, and you will go, oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> How did I miss this? Oh, God. Because <laughs> uh, Barney, I believe his name is, uh, Neil Patrick Harris's character in How I Met Your Mother, is just a, a full-on sexual abuser and assaulter. <laughs> he is like a full-on rapist. <laughs> and it is played for jokes because it's a 2000 sitcom. But it just feels so nasty now. A lot of... 2000 sitcoms did even more than 90s ones like friends friends feels ignorant and stupid but it doesn't feel as mean if if that makes any sense it's a bit like i've, I've talked about this on stream before i think it's it's the same thing as when you watch the simpsons all the way through which you should not do don't Jesus Christ, don't put yourself through that. But if you do watch The Simpsons all the way through, you will notice this. That it's... It, it starts off as kind of... You know, they'll make off-color jokes and stuff, but it's it comes across as more sort of ignorant and stupid when they do, when they make gay jokes or whatever. You can sort of look past it. Again, depending on how you are as a person. Some people won't be able to, and that's fine. Um, not saying you should look past it or anything like that. Sorry, I know I'm giving a lot of caveats. But at a certain point in the 2000s, it becomes mean. Like, it becomes... It, it, as it enters into the world of, you know, Family Guy and South Park being the biggest cartoons in the world, it becomes quite cruel and mean, and the humour becomes a lot more targeted and unpleasant. And that was just how sitcoms were in the 2000s. It was like, especially for gay people and black people and <laughs> anyone who wasn't white and cis and straight, um, the jokes became a lot more pointed and off-putting and mean. It makes it harder to look past for me. I, again, Scrubs, I think, is a good example. I, I liked Scrubs when I was a kid. I think everybody liked Scrubs when I was a kid. Scrubs is a, a well-liked show. But watching Scrubs again now, and I'm not even now, it was a few years ago I rewatched Scrubs. It is genuinely really difficult to watch because every joke, like I would, I was saying, like every third joke maybe is uh, <laughs> is in Friends is is a gay joke. In Scrubs, it's much higher. It's it's like every joke and a half maybe is a gay joke and it's very off-putting it's it's very noticeable like every joke is how you know the two you know two of the main characters are too close or they're gay or how jd the main character is too effeminate and that must mean he's gay and that's a bad thing you know it's uh, uh <laughs> i wouldn't recommend this <laughs> I think Scrubs is one of those shows that has aged like How I Met Your Mother, where it's, I don't think it's really watchable anymore, to be honest. Like, I think it's too noticeable to watch anymore. There's some good episodes of it. I guess maybe just watch them. Watch the one with Brendan Fraser. Everybody likes that episode, right? <laughs> that one's good. I've got a couple of doors here. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I guess, like, 
back door, make some steps, and uh, I don't know. I haven't decided on the layout for this. I need to choose the wall color as well. I just want to make a little ledge outside to the balcony. Anything else? I guess I'll make this the same color as the the porch area down here. Is this a porch? I'm not even sure. 100% what a porch is. I'll assume this is a porch. I can't even remember what I was saying. Something about how I met your mother. Oh yeah, that's why I don't do that vocal tick anymore. It's just depressing. No, that, that show should not have an impact on anyone's lives, negative or positive. It should fade into obscurity forever. It's basically just friends again, isn't it? Like, <laughs> like friends, but worse. I remember um, back when I was growing up, I did watch a lot of friends because was always on. It was the joke of the era that Friends was always on. You could always watch Friends or Top Gear <laughs> when I was a kid. Some channel would be airing it. Somewhere. <laughs> right? Uh, whether you liked it or not, you could always rely on Friends and Top Gear being on. On either Dave or like UK TV Gold or E4 or Channel 4 or one of those. I grew up with Sky, not to brag. In fact, you shouldn't brag. Sky is terrible. <laughs> it was all we had at the time. We didn't have these fancy streaming services when I was a kid. We probably did, I just didn't have them. I was I was a kid in like, you know, the mid to late 2000s. I'm sure Netflix existed. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna Google that. When did Netflix first come about? Oh, you can see my, my recording set up in the background. Uh, was founded in 1997? Are you joking? That can't be. Hang on, okay, here we go. Netflix is a subscription video on demand over the top streaming service. Some of those words I recognize. It was launched in 2007, nearly a decade after Netflix Inc. was founded for DVD by mail movie rental service. So. It, wa it did exist. I would have been 11 when Netflix streaming started. So I c could conceivably have had it. Problem was, though, the internet in my uh, old house when I lived with my parents was terrible. Really bad. Just so terrible. I think I want wood panelling in this as well. I think I want everything to be wood. Like Again, like fake rustic. I want wood panelling. I've decided. Give it to me now. Wood panelling. Something very new. Maybe here we go with the stained elm. Because I think that would probably be be for the best. Something very neutral. Yeah, I think that's good. Look at that. Annoyingly, my parents got good internet the year after I moved out. Which always felt a bit annoying. I was like, I had to put up with shockingly bad internet for my entire life. Like, my entire life up until I was about... When did I move out? I was about 24, something like that. Up until I was about 24, I had to put up with horrible internet. Like, I'm gonna say, look, I'm gonna say the speed now, and again, depending on where you live, you're gonna go, how dare you call that horrible, or you poor soul. My internet speed when I was growing up, from uh, basically the age of about 10 up until I was about 24, the only internet speed I had available was 1.5 megabyte per second downloads on a good day. Um, it was, yeah, 15 mega. Or it was actually less. It was something like, um, I think it was 12 megabit, which is about 1.2 megabyte. And it was shared with the whole house, obviously. So it meant that if anybody was streaming something, like if somebody was watching 1080p YouTube as a treat, uh, rest of the internet would not really work that well. <laughs> so people had to like ration out the internet. Real annoying situation. And I, as I'm saying it, I'm like, this is the most first world any problem has ever been. But, you know, it was annoying was, as a teenage Drea. I was like, this is really annoying and I wish it wasn't the case. I don't want to ruin the chimney, so I'll just keep it like this. That's fine. That's all good. Oh, this is looking lovely now. Now I've got okay internet. Although I keep meaning to... Ugh, my internet is not as good as it could be. A few months ago now... Oh god, is it that long? Oh, I'm so lazy. <laughs> A few months ago, 
my uh, internet speeds got an upgrade. Well, a theoretical upgrade. They installed a fibre line on my street. My street did not have fibre. It just had, like, whatever the previous high-speed one was. So I get, for instance, uh, 12 megabytes per second download and, like, 4 upload, something like that. So it's respectable, but not amazing. You know, it's it's respectable, it's more than enough to stream and stuff like that. But it's it's fine. But I could be getting significantly higher. I could be getting like hundred meg internet. <laughs> but I, I just keep forgetting to call them. I th see the thing was, as I was told when they installed it, because it was just a, like a public work, it wasn't like a private company installing it or anything. It was just like, you know, we're upgrading the street because this is how infrastructure should work. And I was like, that's unusual for the Irish government, thanks. But they told me, ah, you will probably get a call over the next few weeks um, after this is installed, because they called for like planning permission. They were like, do you have any, you know, it might disrupt you know, traffic and stuff for a day. Do you have any objections? And I went, absolutely not. More internet, please. And they said, over the next few weeks, you will probably get a call from your ISP um, offering you a new deal, you know, like a new contract or whatever for um, fiber, if you want to opt in. And I went, fantastic. And then they never called, and I sort of resented that, and so I never called myself either. <laughs> I was like, well, they should have called. I was informed. <laughs> I was told they would call. In my def in their defense, they said probably. <laughs> but I was like, they should have called. I think I emailed them or left my number with them at some point and they never got back. I'm not going to badmouth my ISP, necessarily. <laughs> but they're weird. They're a weird ISP. I'm not sure if I've dreamt them or not. Because <laughs> nobody else... I've ever spoken to. The person who installed the fiber line did not know who my ISP was. Like I said, I told him their name. He was like, oh, who are you with, by the way? And I went, oh, I'm with uh, this. I'm, I'll say it here. It's not doxing or anything. I'm with a company called Pure Telecom, pure.ie or whatever. And he went, I've never heard of them. What? <laughs> and they, this is the guy who's installing internet lines. And I was like... Yeah, I hadn't either, now that you mention it. Before moving in, I had never heard of this company in my life. That's weird, thinking about it. I hadn't put that together. So I'm not, I'm not a hundred, maybe they only exist for me. <laughs> maybe they only cover this street. So maybe that's why they haven't called. Maybe they don't even know. I, I got them to put in the, the internet line when I moved in, because the previous owner did not have internet and the phone had been disconnected forever so they were like you know okay we'll come out and wire up some internet for you and as long as you're with us for a year that'll be worth it for us and i was like thank you and it's been fine i've i haven't had much issues with them the one issue i've ever had with my isp was they sent out a guy who very obviously did not know what he was doing to set up the actual internet line right and so the first and so they they hooked it up to the the pole outside right and the first time it was lightly windy it blew away <laughs> and i did not have internet for a while <laughs> and i had to leave some very like annoyed phone calls and voice messages with the with the company and they were like we're so sorry we will send out somebody to redo it and I was like, thank you, but I wish you had done it correctly in the first place. And when he, uh, when the, the second guy came out, he was like, that's, that's very loose. <laughs> it did not really tie this on properly. <laughs> but other than that, it's been fine. It's been really good. I haven't had any issues whatsoever. It's been great. Oh, this is lovely now. I'm, I'm actually really into this now. I, I don't think I've done this. There we go. So I have to, oh, I'm probably going to have to fucking retexture these beams, like, independently, which is very annoying. Give me some European walnut again, please. Thank you. Just give me, like, untextured European walnut. Perfect. That would be good. I don't know. I don't really have anything to talk about, to be honest. <laughs> I'm kind of just rambling. But that's what these are for. I don't know if there's any other way to do a, a house flipper video. 
You get threes, obviously. You could put some effort into it and do like a a slick HGTV style produced thing uh, with it. But Christ, I don't want to. <laughs> this is a, this is my relaxing time, damn it. I'm not doing like an actual video. You get the low effort slop. <laughs> Sorry. I don't think I'm going to bother doing the upper side of this because it just seems like a bit of a faff. So I'll just leave it like this. Nobody's ever going to see that. Okay, I should probably put in lights. I'm surprised I haven't needed them yet. All right, let's uh let's let's hook up the lights here. We'll duplicate this and put it here somewhere, like right on that line. That seems good. There we go. Line it up. That is not lined up. Immediately fucked us. <laughs> there we go. That's lined up. <laughs> to play this again and line it up with this one. Like there. I love that the laser guide works like this. Like you can see it on the back, the back beam there. It's moving along so I can properly line it up. That's very convenient. That's pretty nice. I like that quite a lot. I think this is a lovely room. Sort of. <laughs> it's a bit of a weird room. I don't know if this might be a one bedroom kind of place. I don't know how much else you could fit in here. <laughs> Maybe I'll block off this as well, actually. Actually, you know what? Yeah, sure. You know what? I'm going to put another wall here. Another floor. Just to make it, like, properly sealed off. I think that would be nice. Let me get the floor stuff. Where's the floor? The flo I'll just copy it again. Maybe even this as well. Like, put it like here. Oh, very pretty. Very pretty. Look at that. This is like, it's, it's starting to look like an actual house that could exist. Who knew that would happen? Right, um, I think that's all the flooring done. I can probably sell the floorboards. I guess we'll start putting in lights downstairs and actually doing all the furniture and furnishings, stuff like that. This might be a short episode. This is actually fairly easy. It's going to be a small house. <laughs> Look, it's, there's no getting away from that. You know what, actually, before we do any of the furnishings, I want to sort out the doors and windows, okay? So I want some big old windows here. Some, some like, massive windows. Potion seller, what is your biggest window? Something like this. I'm wondering if I can make, like, a, a glass wall, even. Can I make, like, a glass wall? That's in my house. Like, my, my house in this game, not my actual house. There's, like, glass walls you can get. Maybe, like, one of these doors... It's like a double sliding door. That will be, I think, the the door we use for the, the actual door. You know what, actually, first, lights. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Lights, please. Maybe I'll just use these again. These these are okay. I think I, I kinda like the the prickish industrial look. You know, it seems like the sort of lights you'd find in a really annoying restaurant. <laughs> Uh, my partner, Emma, likes those kind of restaurants. <laughs> kind of restaurants where the lights are old, you know, factory lights, and the tables are like reclaimed wood, and there's exposed brick on the walls and stuff like that. The hipster places, basically. Places for millennial hipsters. Which my partner sort of is. <laughs> Uh, I should hook up some sort of light switch for these, I imagine. I don't know, is this enough lights? Four lights in here? Because I can't, I can't really put one here, can I? Because I, I want them on the beams. I think they look nice. Okay, that's okay, actually. I think that's fine. 
We can put a lamp over here, or maybe like a wall light or something. I think that looks quite nice, and it's it's bright enough. Maybe I want this this beam gone and just have these central beams. Yeah, that actually opens, that brightens the thing up a lot more, I think. Oh, so beautiful. Lovely. Loving it. <laughs> right, now that we can actually see, let's set up some windows. Windows or something or other. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to do. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, that's an awkward kind of... That's awkward. Perfect. Two windows that are four wide each, if those exist. Please. <laughs> I think we need, because this is, I think, ten, is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I would need four by ten, ideally. Come on, give me a four by ten. Give, please give me a four by ten. There's five by ten. Why won't you let me do this? What's wrong with you? I don't see a 4 by 10 anywhere. There's 5 by 10, so I can do this. Is there a 3 by 10? There's a 3 by 8. Hmm. If I get the 3 by a 3 by 8, because there is a 3 by 8. Take out the bars and the windowsill. Put that there. Right. And then just have a... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think there's a small window that can go there. But I could just brick this in and have it just like a... You know, symmetrical on either side. That could be kind of nice. Is there a 3 by 2 Is there a 3 by 2 window? Or even a 3 by 3 if I could find one of them. There's this, <laughs> I guess. I don't know what. Don't know if I want this, but there is this I could put there. Hang on. If I move this out of the way, I could put this here. Right. And then. Uh, no, I don't really like it, to be honest. <laughs> Let's see what this looks like bricked in. Does that look okay? Uh, you know what? I think it does. I think that looks alright. I don't think it looks incredible, but I think it looks perfectly fine. Let me duplicate that over here. Like that. And then once we, you know, finish up the walls and stuff like that, it might look might look nice. <laughs> look, I'm not gonna deny. It's a bit weird. But I think it looks kind of nice. I think it looks alright. I need to do this outside again. so hard to see. I think this is the right one. Yeah, I'm I'm fine with this. I think that's that's perfectly nice. I think that's a nice front area. We can you know what actually? We can put some lights above this. We can put some wall lights at the end above that and it'll look intentional <laughs> instead of just like a, a slap job. <laughs> Amazing work. <laughs> then oh, I don't think we need this many doors, man. Why is there so many doors? Okay, uh we can just have this door or maybe get rid of both of these and we'll decide where the doors go afterwards. Because we, we do want a back door, but not that huge. Do we want a back door? We probably want a back door. Well, it's probably not that necessary. I think we put the kitchen... Oh god, I don't know where to put anything. <laughs> it's all so awkward and weird. I think bedroom obviously goes up here. I think we'll start with the bedroom, okay? 
let's do an, a nice big bed. Like what's the, the biggest, nicest bed? That's, that's expensive, it's not huge. Although that might be good. Maybe this, maybe this. Like this is, it's not a big area, so maybe we want it to be a little bit compact, comparatively, like that. Oh, I, look, obviously a lot of this is weird. I would love this bedroom. <laughs> this looks lovely. This looks so good. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Let's get um, some nightstands. Probably need some nightstands. Something modern and sleek, I think would be good. Like a Dion, sure. Because we want this, again, remember, this is a house for pricks. So... Keep that in mind, okay? This is a house specifically for pricks. So I wanted to appeal to them. Something like that. Uh, maybe I'll have it a bit more over. Hang on. Like that. There we go. That's That looks a bit neater. We should have some storage space, probably. We should have some medium storage. Maybe some dressers along here. Like that. That sound that looks sensible, I think. Maybe actually under the window like that. And then under this window as well. Eh, does that look okay? Not really. <laughs> Could can go under these windows. Should it though? Hmm. Yeah, that's it feels a bit awkward, right? Yeah, that's that's quite nice. I like that. Maybe one more notch over. On. Um, there's nowhere to clean or piss or anything. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Let me think for a second, for God's sake. Um, <laughs> okay. This is the problem with open plan. Uh, <laughs> there's not really anywhere to piss. Okay. Maybe we do an extension. Hold on. Um... Maybe we do some sort of wall as well. This might be insane, but I think you could do a small, low wall here. Just like this height. Just to vaguely wall off this area for a kitchen. Right? Something like this. Oh, it kind of looks insane. <laughs> One second. If I do it all the way around, maybe? Oh, this is why I'm not an interior designer. Does that look weird as fuck? Kind of. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe like another layer? One more as well? Right, that could be something, right? It's a barn. It looks, looks a bit like a stable now, right? But in here, you could have a kitchen area. This can be the kitchen. And then out here, this can be like a, a little place to pass food or something. This could be the living area. And then oh, where's the bathroom, Drea? <laughs> Drea, where do they piss? Uh, <laughs> give me another one of these. <laughs> uh, put it there. Um, hmm. Good question. <laughs> where do they go piss? Well, there's the outhouse, but where do they shower? Maybe we build an extension out here, right? Maybe we build an extension that's uh, just for showering. This is becoming a bigger job than I anticipated. <laughs> a piss annex. Yeah. You know what? The more I say it, bafflingly, the more I say it, the more that sounds like a good idea. <laughs> a piss annex. Now you're talking. Let me sell these. These beams here. So that I can have like a nice kitchen area we'll uh oh, we'll paint this maybe in some way or maybe this could be walnut as well yeah you know what actually this could be walnut this little wall area Right. Is this the worst thing that's ever been built? 
possibly. It it really looks like a stable. <laughs> Fuck it, it's, it adds to the charm. Right, this stable area is the kitchen. <laughs> Decide. <laughs> Get me cabinets. Give me a Vanamo sink. The finest sink of money can buy. It's gonna need- I'm gonna need a corner unit, so let's- let's get the corner unit first, right? There we go. And then the sink can go right there, and then this can go here. You know what? It's actually not that bad, is it? <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> then a cabinet here. We obviously need an oven, so maybe give me a functional cabinet. Give me a nice built-in oven, right? Whatever the most expensive one is. Give me an oven there. Give me a dishwasher, probably, there. And then maybe a, a fridge here, one of the built-in fridges. Well, this actually, you know what? It looks more put together than you might have expected. <laughs> I think that's okay. <laughs> sort of. Let me just shuffle this around a tiny bit. There we go. Hmm. Maybe actually what I do is put a tiny cabinet here. Like one of these. Just to give it some space. And then this here, and then this here. I think that's perfectly nice. You've got plenty of room, you've got plenty of space, plenty of storage. It, it's not that bad, okay? <laughs> Stop saying it's bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> Give me a dining table before we style things. Give me a small, sort of faux rustic dining table, okay? Maybe like, uh, how big is this? Oh, that's actually quite kind of nice. You know what? That's not bad. I think we could fit a few chairs around that. That's... that's okay, isn't it? Is it okay? <laughs> oh, maybe a Martin, actually. Oh, this is very expensive, though. The posh pricks will love this. Let's get some. Let's get, get me some. Uh, some chair martins, though, or maybe some. Ooh, some of these. Look how pretentious these look. These are nice. They're almost exactly like this, but more expensive, which might be better. Let me put it here. Oh, there's not much room for seats. Hang on. Maybe if we go martin, there's still not much room for seats. Ah! <laughs> What about this horrible plastic chair? No. Fuck it. Give me this. Let's make it, um, less hideous. <laughs> if I could, if you could, be a deer and make it less disgusting. Maybe, like, lighter and the seat can be, like, a grey or something instead of the horrible pattern it is now. Right, just put, like, uh, let's put, like, three of these down. They don't need more. They've, they, this is for a bachelor. He's entertaining if he's if he's having more than three people over. He can buy a chair. <laughs> hey, that's fine. Let's get a um, I don't know some sort of carpet, some sort of nice carpet, like a quilted fabric, grey, no fringe kind of carpet. Oh, look at that! Now it's now it's looking fancy, isn't it? Isn't it? <laughs> I'll have some hangers up here as well. Um, yeah, let's do that now. That's kind of nice. <laughs> There's some stuff there that looks like it's intentional. It's it's kind of it's kind of nice. It's okay. It's it's all right. Okay, it's all right. Let me change the style of this. What do we want it to look? Oh, you know what? That kind of almost blending in with the floor look might be good because it's like fancy, and you know it's fancy, but it's trying to look not fancy. Oh, look at that. Now that's pretty in the worst possible way. Also, the table needs to change. Um, 
Take that again. Yeah. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. We live in a barn, but we're not, like, pricks about it. They are pricks. <laughs> but they're trying to look like they're not. Okay. I think that actually looks upsettingly quite nice. <laughs> I'm actually into it. I, it came together eventually. Oh, I just sold the fucking light switch. What's wrong with me? <laughs> I've decided to be into it. <laughs> Let's, um... I don't know what else to do. I guess we'll start making a living area. Like, we need to put a couch, probably a television, I guess. You'd want a television at some point, probably. Couch can maybe go here. I don't know. Where would a couch go? Where do people put couches? <laughs> maybe, actually, the couch can go here looking at the TV. Uh, on, the, on the wall, like a TV against a wall. We could sell this. Hmm. That might be good. That might be okay. Good is an overstatement, but it might be okay. Give me a big old television to put right here in the middle of these two windows. Right? Like that. And then... Oh, that looks so weird. <laughs> then... Then... What then, Drea? What do you want? <laughs> Maybe raise it a little bit. Does it look a little bit less weird then? A little bit. <laughs> Maybe if it's like flush with the with the windowsills, it might look okay. Like this. Yeah, it does actually look a little bit less weird. <laughs> okay, then we'll push. People like having couches, places to sit, that kind of thing. Like, like a small-ish couch. Put it like here. You know what? I, I think it makes sense to have it here next to the kitchen so you can get snacks easy. And then um, maybe an armchair as well. Like that. Okay, so you come in here. You go, oof, awkward, and pass there. Okay, maybe push it in a little bit. It's good to walk around in the place you're designing. <laughs> Just in case it's deranged. So you walk in here, that's that's sort of okay. And then you come in here, there's a nice little hallway with basically nothing in it. <laughs> Maybe I put this here, like that. No, that looks so fucking strange. That's so weird, don't do that. Put this like uh, here in one more notch. Like that, there we go. Now it's, now it's like a clear line, you go in, it's all fine. Maybe actually, a way of doing this would be to switch this. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now it opens to this side. We have so much more room. What was I doing? I'm gonna put these back a bit now again. <laughs> Perfect. Now you go in here. Oh, lovely. You can do the dead thing where you stand behind the couch and put your hands on your hips. I'm doing it in real life as if that does anything for you. Um, that'll work. Maybe. Maybe that works. <laughs> I'm gonna put a cabinet here. Medium storage, maybe a sideboard even. That could be nice. You know, plenty of uh, plenty of room for storage. That's fucking huge. What's wrong with you? <laughs> That's so big. <laughs> a dresser even would be less weird looking. Yeah, that, that actually looks all right, I think. I think that looks okay. Almost normal. It's not normal, but it, it almost looks normal, doesn't it? Some appliances and stuff. Electronics, please. Give me some... Some fancy boy speakers. What's the most expensive speakers you have? These? But they look horrendous. <laughs> what the hell are these? <laughs> these look so bad. <laughs> right. Give me some, like, tall boys. There we go. Look at that. Now it's like we take entertainment seriously here <laughs> in this house. <laughs> I'll probably need a coffee table. Yeah, that actually... Oh, you know what? It's kind of coming along, isn't it? Like, that's that's also nice. It's kind of... It's kind of looking like something, isn't it? This, this doesn't look too terrible, I think. Right? <laughs> I, I hate how it sounds like I'm asking for reassurance. <laughs> You know what? I'm starting to genuinely like the house. I know, I know it looks like it does, but I'm I'm actually kind of starting to get into it. 
Ooh, maybe like a deep red would actually be nice for these couches. I'm not insane, am I? I think this looks all right. I'm going to put a little clock above this. Like a nice little faux rustic clock like that. Look at that. That's so pretty. It's so pretty now. Everything's so nice. Oh, this is lovely. Okay, now we have a place to cook. We have a place to eat. We have a place to sit and watch television. We have a place to sleep and store our clothes. Next is... Hmm. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get rid of these windows. Okay? Bear with me. I'm going to make this walled off up to the ceiling. I'm going to I'm going to make it into a mm, Am I going to make this into a piss place? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I just don't know. <laughs> okay, no. This this will not be a piss place. This will be an office space. A movie that people like but I've never seen. <laughs> I think I'm going to put a desk here. That makes more sense, right? Sort of. <laughs> Give me... Ooh, what's this? This is a freaky looking nightmare desk. Put this here. I love it. I hate it. <laughs> I would never have it. <laughs> Put this up there. Put a... Get some... Get like a keyboard in front of it. There we go. Get a mouse. A little niece. Perfect. Get a PC monitor. If it fits at all. You know what? As a treat, you can have two PC monitors. There we go. Look at that. Nice and fancy. Like me. I've got two PC monitors. I kind for the first time ever recently, I felt like I might like three monitors. But that feels like going down a road of extravagance that I'm uncomfortable with. <laughs> but I, I've recently started dual streaming to YouTube. And I, I don't, I haven't checked any analytics or anything, so I don't know if anybody is even watching on YouTube, but um, it has made me want to have two chats up, but two monitors. If you don't know what my streaming setup is, why would you? The game is on the main monitor. It's a slightly, very slightly bigger monitor. It's 1440p, 140 frames per second, you know, it's a, or hertz, I guess. It's a... It's a nice monitor. Secondary monitor, tiny, tiny bit smaller, and it has OBS, which is recording right now. It has the chat, it has the stream info, that kind of thing. An extra chat would kind of feel like I needed another monitor. Like it would just be a bit much. But I don't want, I don't even know if I have room for a third monitor. That's a lot of space taken up by monitors if I did. Right, I. you know what? I'm not even going to give myself safety railings here. I think whoever lives here should have to live with the risk of accidentally wheeling themselves to death. <laughs> I think that would be funny. Okay, we will give uh, some shelving over here, maybe? Is there any more shelves I can put? Because it's, it's not a big place <laughs> give me this maybe this can be like a like a file cabinet kind of thing okay i think the upstairs honestly might be finished i'm gonna get this carpet and change it change the color and put it up here just as like a welcome upstairs kind of thing <laughs> i don't know why i did that accent you may have noticed a sneaky little edit recently by the way while discussing making a piss place in this room, I went to my piss place and did a did a piss. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and it was fine. <laughs> I'm doing some chores outside, so I I have. I don't know if you've uh, if you've noticed. I have been uh, stopping and going outside every so often. Uh, I don't know how well it comes across because I am doing some laundry and you know generally kind of cleaning up my house as I record this because it this game it's honestly it might be a societal good this game because it makes me want to clean my house more it makes me want to clean my house more and do stuff around my house obviously I can't I, I don't have the ability to like knock down shit and you know make uh make extensions or anything but I like improving my house a little bit basically over the last few 
weeks, months. I've been slowly, you know, getting rid of some old furniture and replacing it, painting some walls, uh, repairing some stuff. Like, it's been nice, and I genuinely, as pathetic as it sounds, do credit this game with getting me to do that. It's so sad. That is the saddest thing in the world, but it is true. Uh, oh, Christ, what am I going to do here? <laughs> okay. So, everything is basically done in this house. There's some decorations that I'll do at the end, you know, some more lighting and some finishing touches, like some, you know, maybe some drawers and stuff along here. But there is currently nowhere to piss. So, that needs to be solved right now. I need to knock through something here. I need to build out foundations. Go from here to... Christ, I don't know, like here. And then... Why can't it... Why, what isn't it? It's not letting me do stuff. Hang on. <laughs> so... Right out here, maybe. I don't know where this is going. <laughs> and we'll start making a room. Right, we'll make a... A room-sized extension, and it'll be fine. <laughs> it'll go perfectly well. Let me go... I don't know. It doesn't need to be big. It just needs to be enough. Is that enough for a bathroom? I think it is. I think that's enough for a nice, large-ish bathroom. I might give it a tiny bit more. Maybe? Because there's going to be walls here. It's going to go out a little bit more, isn't it? Because it's going to it's gonna jut out over the edge of this. Let me get this copied, first of all. And we'll, you know, make it match the rest of the foundations. Hmm. It does actually need to go up one more, doesn't it? does it need to be to piss in something? How big does does something need to be to be like pissable? 11? 2.2 meters? Nobody's going to be over 2.2 meters, right? See, I don't want to get rid of the balcony. Let's try 2.2 meters. 2.4 meters is what it is right now. built into the balcony. Maybe it's built into... Maybe the balcony is the roof. I think if we pull this all the way out. And then we sell these little balca bits <laughs> and join them in. Right, like that. We just kind of make that the ceiling. I think that would be pretty okay. Maybe. Maybe, maybe it would be. Maybe it wouldn't be. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe this, the balcony could come out on top of the piss room. This is a big piss room, actually, isn't it? <laughs> Christ. Okay. Uh, this is fine. It's okay. <laughs> this is gonna be okay. As I built more, I'm like, what the fuck am I doing? 
<laughs> this is so huge. This is comically big. Okay, fine. It's good. It's good, and it's fine, and it's good, and it's fine, and it is good. <laughs> so big. <laughs> Start walling it up. What have I done? I might need to actually genuinely, like, bring this back a couple of notches. It's huge! You know what, fuckers? They get a huge bat, like, a comically huge bathroom. And that's fine. They can, they can have it as a treat. Right. <laughs> I don't know, man. What am I gonna do in here? It should probably be tiled. Let's get some yellow sandstone. Oh, that is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> so horrible. Maybe, like, even a deeper orange. Make it even worse. Okay. Oh, God, I know I've called it the piss room. This is actually too unpleasant, though. Um, I don't know if I can... I don't know if I can put this in and feel good about it. Maybe, like, a... Oh, God, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Maybe, like, this, make it darker again. Okay, that's... That's kind of bearable to look at, I suppose. It's not good, <laughs> but it's, it's not the worst thing in the world. Fantastic work. <laughs> okay, I want this maybe on the walls as well. Hmm. At least one wall should be tiled. It's so tall as well. Jesus, <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> I've made a huge mistake. I tile this back wall, I guess. There we go. <laughs> And then around here as well. The, the room is so big that I'm running out of tiles. Okay, 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 okay. This is fine. It's okay. Um, I might paint this, actually. Or maybe I'll just do the wooden panels. Maybe I'll just keep doing the wooden panels. Just make it really unpleasant. Like, the fumes should soak into the wood. Ideally. <laughs> there, there we go, that's, that's kind of a room. <laughs> kind of. It's a room. It's not a nice room, but it is a room. <laughs> right. What is the biggest shower I can feasibly fit in a room? Give me the biggest possible shower. This. This is huge. This is an irresponsibly big shower. Put that in. That, at least fill up the space a bit. Then, same with a... Oh, do we want a bath as well? It's big enough. Give me a toilet. Give me the fanciest of toilets. No, that's too fancy. <laughs> Give me just like... Yeah, sure. Give me this toilet. This is fine. Put it right here. There we go. Oh, that's a big shower. I would kill for this shower. <laughs> this is actually the ugliest room I have ever built. Why can't I build bathrooms? I, I think genuinely it's an issue. I, I have some sort of mental block when it comes to bathrooms. Like, I can't build one that doesn't look horrendous. <laughs> These all look so bad. Right, where's the, where's the ceiling lamps we've been using? One of these, I think. Make it, uh... Same colour as the rest of them, whatever that is. And then add one... I don't know, here? Any... <laughs> that is so bright, that's way too bright, never mind. <laughs> we don't need that many. <laughs> Just one is okay. Sink can go here. Give me, like, a nice... Cabinet sink, like one of these. Give me a nice... Like expensive cabinet sink. Dock? Dry? Give me the this one. Make it a, a bit more, you know, rustic looking. Give it some wood pattern. That's fine. Uh, anything else? I mean, there, there's enough room for a full bath if we want it. 
if we want a bath as well. Give me like this fancy fucking bathtub. One of these. <laughs> like this. <laughs> oh god, it's it's the worst thing in the world. There we go. <laughs> that's, that's fine, right? You can come in here, you can have a bath, you can have a shower, you can have a, a nice piss, or you can... I don't know. <laughs> you can do whatever you like, okay? <laughs> Let's start putting some stuff up. Let's put some shelves up. Oh, God. <laughs> the tile is so off-putting. I might... I, I Just for my own peace of mind, I think I need to change the tile. Like, just on the walls, at least. Like, make it like a... a much grayer or something. Make it like that, even. On the walls. That's a... Uh, it's not good. It's still not good, is it? <laughs> but it might be slightly better. Uh, I'm gonna need to move stuff around as well, annoyingly. Hang on. <laughs> Put this out here. Shower goes here for a second. Outside. There's an outside shower for, for a minute. There we go. Just get, get things out. Leave me alone. <laughs> Achoo! Achoo! I think what I will do then is tile the entire thing around at this level. And then have wood instead at the very at the very top. Okay, you know what? That doesn't look as bad as it did, right? <laughs> we can all agree with this. The floor is still absolutely vomit-inducing, but this is this is technically better. Let me uh, move the toilet as well. <laughs> there we go. It's fine. <laughs> oh, it's so awful. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, decorate the bathroom a little bit. <laughs> As I've built this more and more, it looks less and less horrible. It's not good. Let's let's be honest with ourselves. It's not good, but I think it is better now. I think it's okay. I think it's it's okay enough that I feel like okay about selling this to somebody <laughs> right it's, it's fine can I change the style of this at all uh, I don't know if I'd want to I think that's fine there we go I think it's fine as is I don't know this doesn't look like a comfortable bath to be honest but it's fancy so they'll take it right this needs a door obviously let's get uh, one of these doors any door, really. Um, probably not a window door. Is this an outdoors door or an indoors door? Either way, it's probably fine, let's be honest. There we go. Yippee! A, a bathroom. It, it it works and is probably fine. <laughs> this is okay as a bathroom. I'll, I'll leave it at that. There's a couple of final touches to do. Like, I want to do the balcony out there and I want to decorate a little bit. So, I think... It's time for a little bit of a montage thing. I mean, you've been seeing them all throughout the video where I will just speed up the footage, but I will do the finishing touches here.
Okay, I think I'm done. I think we're finished this house. I'll do a quick little sweep through to show what we've done and then we'll sell it on, I think. So, first of all, you may have noticed I've made this into a proper bathroom because I like the idea of having a private place out in the out of the house to do your business. I like it. So, this now has a shelf, a towel rack, a nice little you know, area for washing your hands and going to the bathroom. It's all plumbed in. It has lights. Lovely. Perfect. We've got bins around here. We've got a fully stocked kitchen and dining area that looks a bit like a stable. We've got the television area. And you know what? Very quickly, I'll give them a remote because I'm feeling generous. Here you go. You can have a, you can have a simple, simple little remote right there. Yeah, you can even have... You can even have the remote for like a, a fire stick or something if you're if you're fancy. There you go, like the smart TV, or maybe this is for the speakers, like the sound bar or something. There we go. We've got a television. Oh, I didn't know you could do this. Oh. Oh. This feels like a piece of media produced by a cult. You know, how you occasionally see cartoons made by cults. Feels like one of them. Is he meant to be some sort of superhero? I love the lobster and the frog. This is like an actual story that you could follow. <laughs> I was expecting just random images. We're doing. Oh, lobster friend. I love lobster friend most of all. Right then. Um, cool. Well, <laughs> now we know that exists. You can watch that all day. We've got some shelving. We've got some nice little knickknacks in here. The kitchen, as usual. In here, the horrible, horrible bathroom. But look, it's not growing on me. But it's. It's not getting any worse the more I look at it. So that's... It's stabilised in my mind. We'll leave it. Up here, we've got the bedroom. Nice, simple little bedroom. Just a double bed. Some storage. Some, you know, places to put your little clothes and stuff. You can open the windows and uh, water all of these brand new plants that you have. Nice and convenient. You can water them if they need it. Over here, we've got a nice little desk area. Here, you've got the murder platform where if you if you feel like living dangerously you can sit there maybe i'll put a little seat there or you know what i would spend time here i think just dangling my legs over here i think it would be fun out here i've turned the balcony into like a nice little seating area where you can have a barbecue you know it's got some wall lights it's got a picnic table it's got a barbecue you can invite some friends over chill out eat some food eat a burger and or a hot dog look at the trees it'll be lovely don't say it won't be it'll be lovely then that's kind of it really i don't think there's anything else to show you i mean that's that's everything i, I think these look nice these little sconces you have the little balcony area here for the plants We've got some benches for outdoor seating it's a nice little house it's an it's a lovely little house even from outside it, it looks nice now Look at that. This looks like it's almost intentional, <laughs> as opposed to a scrapped together nightmare. This looks nice. I mean, what I'll do is I'll slightly move this so that it looks a bit more symmetrical. But other than that, maybe even put another one there. Hang on. Let me, let me just duplicate this. And then uh, space them out properly. Like that. There we go. Now that looks nice and stable and intentional. I love this. This is my favourite bit. This is my favourite part of this house, is the fact that it has a fully functional and plumbed in outhouse. I'm so happy that that exists. I'm actually really pleased with that. I think that looks beautiful. I mean, look at that. Look at that setting sun in the background. It's, it's a really nice house. I look forward to being ripped apart for this, <laughs> but I, I like it. Let's sell it off, shall we? Let's go over to the auction house. 
Summary, house purchase price was 252 grand, which is a lot for a barn. Sold items, we only got about nine grand left. I think I reused a decent amount of stuff and most of it was just pellets anyway. Renovation cost 70 grand. Oh my, I did a lot of stuff on this. <laughs> uh, 313, 314 grand in total we are down. I think we'll be able to get over 3 million here. Put up for auction. I'm expecting four or five hundred grand for this. It's nice. It's a nice house. Five hundred grand. Oh my god. Okay. I'll take it, please. Thank you. Quentin Gomez. I will take five hundred grand for this house. Um I will yeah, make a roughly two hundred grand from this. This is pretty good. Sell it, please. I should be just over three million now, right? Once it loads back in. Yep, 3.2 million. I'm so happy. And we're back on the roof. Thank you for watching, everybody. Um, goodbye. I don't really have an outro for this <laughs> for this series. It's just sort of, you watched a house get built, sort of. It was, it went better than it could have. I'm, can, I'm, yeah, I'm, ugh. Let's try that again. <laughs> I'm interested to see how long this video will be. This could be my shortest ever video. I'm looking over at my uh, footage, at my OBS, and it's saying that I'm, I've am i only been recording for a couple of hours. That can't be right, can it? Hang on, let me tab out and see if it's frozen. It had frozen. I've been recording for about three hours. <laughs> okay, I'm interested to see how long this will come out to. I think most of these videos are coming out at about, I don't know, maybe two and a bit hours we should be around that again i'm usually able to condense them down by about a third it should be fine anyway i hope you enjoyed thank you for watching everybody have a nice day i'll see you again go watch some of the other videos i have on this channel if you liked this and you want something that's a bit more highly edited then check out some of the other videos i do some like indie horror game stuff which is kind of fun and that's usually a lot more fast-paced and a lot more you know properly edited basically or i've got three or four of these now at this point you can go watch more of them either way thank you go watch me on twitch and on youtube and all that bye